Like, what do you think about AI? Where is AI going? Is it going to be good for us? Is it going to be bad for us? And how can we use it? Like, how can we use it in a uh, in a social media sense, in the social media platform? Uh, I think AI is is going to be um, more good than bad for us. I, yeah. I believe. Uh, but you know, if you if you look like a really like far away, yeah. right? Uh, and you can think about it, you know, uh, how we are in wars and stuff and the AI is going to, you know, take over the wars and start fighting. Yeah. Um, and it could do a lot of harm, I believe, you know, but uh, for the short t- t- time being, for us to get excited, yeah. to see values in it, I think the AI is going to uh, treat people, is going to find, uh, you know, things that humans um, uh, couldn't find or the humans made mistakes. Yeah. Uh, specifically, let's say, if you look at AI, when we they, they're doing the radio scans, right? Right. And you, you know, let's say you go from your doctor, doctor recommends you to radiology, you get your, your scans done, mm-hmm. CAT scans done. Yeah. But then it depends on one reader. Yeah. What if the guy has a bad day? What if, what, yeah. you know, what you can't rely on a mistake. You yeah. can't rely on him. Like yeah. He's looking at your readings, like, hey, you know what, Jonathan, we, we need to replace your liver. He's like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, no. No, AI <laughs> is Hell doing no. that, and AI is going to be like, you know, everything looks normal because, you know, AI is going to be trained to identify yeah. mistakes better. Uh, so I think it will be better in, in that scenario. Um, with social media, I think the AI is, is going um, is to produce a lot of fake information, right? Right. So right now you see like um, we take a lot of pictures. We mm-hmm. tell our photographers take a lot of pictures. I want to see my customer eating, mm-hmm. drinking, yep. walking, selling, talking, everything. Yep. So I can brand them. I can advertise them, right? Yeah. Um, I work with a lot of attorneys, and you know you need a lot of photos. Yeah. But now you have an AI. You give them one picture. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you have thirty pictures. Wow. You know. <laughs> so. <laughs> It does look That's good. amazing. Like, it's amazing, right? And it's creepy at the same time. It's like. creepy at the same time. So are people going to like it? People are not going to like it. I think uh, if you look at from Japanese history, right? Because yeah. in Japan, AI is more developed uh, and evolved. Uh, people are already falling in love in AI. There is a, there is yeah. a, in the auto content uh, section called AI. Yeah. <laughs> and I would say, yeah. Yeah, they have, they have right now AI section. And, you know, yeah. uh, for us nerds, we, we want to know if this is just advertising, if it's just like fake, or what is behind it? When yeah. you look at the data, you know they there's people visiting those categories more than any other categories because people, yeah, people yeah. want to see something new. Now, when you look at the, what happened to Taylor Swift or or Bobby Lady with the podcast, mm-hmm. when they had that fake content, right, of yeah. them naked and all that stuff, yeah, more of that I is think, coming. Yeah, and and I don't think uh, we can stop it. I think yeah. it's it's already too late, and uh, you know. Um, what we can ma- make better is making an AI mm-hmm. supervise its own AI, say, you know what, this is original content. Right. Then and Jonathan sat together in downtown LA and spoke on a podcast. There wasn't no fake, you know, yeah. like AI generated <laughs> <laughs> yeah. podcast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. How, how do you guys use AI in your company? Uh, we use AI for a um, for few things. Uh, we are implementing AI in our company, uh, you know, like uh, specifically like uh, proofreading, right. uh, making sure that there is no, you know, misspelling mistakes. Uh, we use AI for um, making sure that uh, links are properly, uh, you know, separated in a website, that they're not pointing to uh, dark pages or uh, pages that shut down, right? So, yeah. you know, like uh, um, before we would have, manager supervise right website yeah. then uh, customer will be pushing us like how do, you work on my website how don't you know that this page you know that was built five years ago is not working so yeah nobody's clicking on it yeah, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. if you think that uh, yeah. now we click on every every page in the website every month yeah know, it doesn't work like that yeah so i was like oh there must be solution to this right so yeah uh, the ai the ai checks so it's it like, is helping on a lot of the things it, yeah it is helping saving time saving time um, we try AI for generating the content, um, but you see, here is here is like that. We we do because you know I am I am, I go with the flow with our policy and procedures, right? Yeah. So if my customer says I want AI content, then they get AI content. Yeah, I ask them, you want a chat GPT free AI content? You want a paid chat GPT content? Yeah, or you want something more robust? Yeah, but what's better in your opinion? Um, I mean, you know, the, the, the you have a new softwares that are really, really good, yeah. right, for generating content. Uh, I think better is a combination. 
combination, yeah. I think, uh, you know, that you show original, this is original, and look, this is AI generated. So yeah. it gives people options, right? Um, you can build website with the AI. That's right, well, yeah. Uh, but now how good is their website, right? Is it going to outrank your competitors? Most likely not, right? It's going to mm. be a cookie cutter, yes. It's going to yeah. be a cookie cutter. Uh, a cutter. It could be somebody yeah. having the same website like you. Yeah. They use the same AI to build it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's maybe just using it to help you out, but then you have to adjust still put in the time. So it's just a supplement, basically. Supplement, that's, what, yeah. that's what it is. Uh, what are some of the apps that you would recommend for, for AI? I mean, I would recommend, um, you know, ChatGPT, everybody already heard and tried it out. Yeah, because uh, I heard this app called Bard. Is there anything, anything else that is uh, better than that? Uh, Bard is basically the difference between Bard and ChatGPT primarily is Bard is uh, grabbing the data from Google, mm. uh, what ChatGPT is uh, uh, grabbing the data from Bing, like Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. You know, so this is like a little bit different. So if, you, if you're searching on Yahoo and Bing, then ChatGPT is perfect for you. If you're more like a Google searcher guy and want more information, more robust, then maybe you know you go with with Google AI platform, yeah, but yeah. for for let's say for writing for like um, writing articles or writing content, yeah. uh, the number one right now is Jasper. Uh, Jasper is basically popular, um, you know, for content creating. is used by bigger agencies, the website depot, and uh, I heard like under the under the records, uh, you know, eighty yeah. percent of the content you see online today is written by Jasper. Jasper, yeah, wow. 